started with YouTube, you already know the perspective. Now you already know what time it is, coming directly from the county jail, smashing, dashing, sliding on through with a whole lot of energy. So please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support your boy and hit that bell notification for future fire content. So I guess the time this year, the boxer, the Terminator versus Mile High. Now, about two months ago, when I was first uh, started doing videos again, I kind of gave you guys a little preview, my thoughts about the fight, and, and I kind of, I kind of danced around the question about who I predict that's going to win. Okay, so being that the fight is going to be this Thanksgiving, this Thursday, I'm going to give you my predictions, and, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Now, as you guys all know, there's a big age gap here. I think boxers pushing 54, 55, and my eyes about 45, 46. And the older, older you get, let's keep it real, age matters more, okay? When you start pushing in your 50s and stuff like that, it, it's two, three years, four years really matters. You, you, it just catches up to you, man. And look what happened with Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? Just fought Logan, was, just fought Logan right? What is the Paul, Paul Logan, whatever. Um, that little celebrity match, he looked embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? It was terrible. It was a terrible fight for him. He's 58 years old in age. Professional fighter. He had really champion the world at one time. And for him to look so bad in a fight, man, that kind of worries me when it comes to boxer being at the age that he is. You know, here, here, here's someone who's, you know, um, not in the best shape of his life, okay? Um, I'm going to keep it real. If boxer can't finish this in the first round or even maybe early second round, I'm going to give the fight to my high by decision. I just, you know what I'm saying? That's my personal personal view. What I wish to happen, you know, and I'm going to keep it real. I, I like both these guys. Mile High was, he's always been a stand-up dude, a real likable guy, solid character, really respectful. Um, I can't say nothing bad about the guy. Now, as far as in regards to Boxer, I've known Boxer for over what? 20-something years now. 25, 26 years. And so, you know, there's a friendship there. So, of course... I would like Boxer to win the fight. Do I think that he, he's capable? Yes, I think that he's capable. I think he'll pull it off, to be honest with you. I really don't think he will. I will be rooting for him. And, and basically, I am going to be rooting for a basically a safe fight where both of them come out healthy. You know, no, uh, no head trauma. No, you know, nobody having a heart attack. I mean, just, just keep it real. At this age, it's, it's every, everything that we've done to our lives, we really bad at our lives, especially with whether we're drug addiction or doing all these burpees all these years, and, you know, it's, it's not like picking up the glass when you're in your, your teenage years or in your 20s and 30s, you know? As you get in your 40s, it's a little bit different. I'm, I'm currently 46, you know, and, I, you know, I, I know my limitations, you know, or, you know, I mean, it doesn't mean that I won't get up in there with anybody, but at the same time, you got to be realistic when you're dealing with people who... You know, a 21-year-old that has some experience, you know, he's going to have a lot more win than someone my age. So, now for Boxer, his best advantage to win a fight is to try to go out there and, and kind of try to knock him out. If we're, you know, trying to hit that one blow. And that's the thing about boxing. There's a lot of different angles. You know, um, they're both about the same height. I think my height is a, a little bit taller, has a little bit more width, um, or a little bit more reach. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to have a, a big factor is the win with Boxer. You know, it's, He's not doing a thousand burpees in his late twenties and early thirties, you know. And you know, I'm not, I'm not here to sit there and say that he won't put up a good fight because I think he will put up the best fight that he's capable of doing at his age. Now, if if you have boxer at his age at 46 years old or 45 years old, then 100 percent I would take boxer. You know what I'm saying? But the age, you really got to take that into accountability. And I think people are, you know, going off. Yeah, he's really, really strong. Yes, he's been in a lot of fights. Yes, he's been known to be a beast, but there comes a time when, hey, that, that beast maybe is not all the way there like he used to be. And sometimes it's hard for us to admit it. You know what I'm saying? I, like, man, I, I think I'm going to keep on going to him in my 70s and stuff, but the reality of it and the practical truth of it is more than likely age is going to catch up to all of us. You know, we get what happened with Tyson. That's a prime example. And, and I hope that at least when Boxer gets up in the ring that he doesn't go... I hope it doesn't go out like Tyson. I mean, that's kind of like a little, a little bit of stain on his career, man. You can't take who he was, but just to look that sloppy and that terrible in the ring, it's just not a good look, man. You know, and, and that's just the truth. And, and when you get older, you know, you can't rely on just your athleticism or, or, or just your skill in general. You just, you really got to take every angle 
every hit is going to be felt, you know. And, and I, I really think Mile High is probably going to take the, take this uh, take this match. I don't think he's going to knock Boxer out. I think Pride alone, you know, is, is going to keep Boxer from tapping out in the second or third third round. Even though he may be tired because he's overweight, he's not in the best shape of his life. Straight wise, he's he's in and he's in good shape. And it's a little bit different being in that ring fighting than it is fucking training. You know, people can sit there and train at a certain pace for hours and two hours, but once you get those gloves on, the anxiety, you know, it's those gloves start to fill about 20 pounds after the third round. It, it's, it's just, that's going to be key too. It's going to he keep those hands up, you know. Um, if I'm mile high, you know, I, I got to I gotta keep my angles. I got I to gotta stay away from his right. And just, you know, the jab alone, you know, if, if he has a solid jab, which I've seen from some, uh, some footage of his training, if he just keeps that uh, jab solid, man, and just take, take weights, his opportunity, eventually Boxer's going to get getting a little bit probably, you know, want to get it, because Boxer is going to have to know that his best chances of winning this fight is to try to end it early, you know, and I don't know if people at, at our age, yes, we may be still strong, but I don't know if we have that, like, long term, like, third round, fourth round, where you still knock somebody out. Now, he's capable of doing it in the first round. If, if, if Mile High gives him that chance to, you know, and leaves himself open, you know, or tries to come in too fast and Boxer just catches him, the fight's over. You know what I'm saying? Without a doubt. But, um, at the end of the day, though, you got to give respect to both these men. Um, just doing it at this age, you know, and for the people, you know, that takes a lot of balls. It takes a lot of heart, and, and that's hard to do because, hey, we all have egos. None of us want to go out there and get embarrassed. None of us want to go out there and quit. You know, none of us want to do a lot of things, you know. But the truth of it is, it's just anything can happen any moment. And you got to live with it. People are going to look at you and they're going to have their opinion. And let's just let's give these men the respect that they have for the fact that they're getting in the ring. And that they're going to do the damn thing. And that they've been respectful towards each other for the most part. There hasn't been no slinging, no mud. There hasn't been no shit talking. There hasn't been none of that stuff going on. They've both been care of themselves. Mikey's been known to put together some pretty good events. I was really impressed with uh, the last one I watched, which was uh, Buzz versus Chola Trucker. And, and, and the first one he, he threw together, he put together a really good uh, a really good product. You know, and it was really entertaining. And, um, man, I look forward to hearing what the results are of this fight. I guess it's just going to happen. I guess they're, I don't know if they're doing a pay-per-view or how they're doing it, but I guess Thanksgiving Day... <laughs> It's going to be the Royal Rumble, basically, man. Uh, what do you guys think out there? That's my personal question, because I haven't really been tapped in or, or discussed this with too many people. I know a lot of people, especially if you're from Northern California, you're naturally going to be cheering on maybe for boxers. You know what I'm saying? But I'm hearing from people who don't want to really voice their pain or be out there on Front Street that are boxer supporters. A lot of them are telling me that they think Mile High is going to take it. And, and boxers my boy, but I don't know. I, I really, I really don't think he is. I, I don't, I don't think he has a, I don't think he has a standing power to, to be there four or five rounds in, in, in um, you know, at his age. And that's not a knock on him. You know, if, if they were on an equal age and, and this was 10 years, 10 years ago, Boxer, I think Boxer would automatically win. You know, that's just my personal opinion. But then again, I, I haven't seen my high. All I know is that my high isn't going to back down from anybody. He's a respectful dude. And, from the footage I've seen of him, he knows how to defend himself, and, and he got hard. He's, he's going to give it all. He's going to give it his all, man. And that's what you can expect from both these men. They're both going to give it their all when they hit that ring. Neither one's going to quit, and that's what you want, man. You just want to be. You want to see them give the best they can. You don't want to see anybody that's going to be scary and just doing little fucking pawn little uh, jabs and, and just staying away from each other. You want to see them get it, and I think that they know what you guys are expecting. Wanting to see, I think possibly you may see some sloppiness in both these fighters because you know neither one of them are going to be professional. Let's just keep it real. There, there's going to be some unorthodox styles here and there, and, and you may just see, see some that's not normally done in a professional fight. But remember, these guys, for as much experience as they have, global golden glove boxing and whatnot, and, and training as kids, they're still not professional. So man, so just you know, I commend both of them and what they're doing, man. Like I said, it, it, I wish I was. I was kind of really gearing towards getting into the ring before I got locked up, man, because I, I knew that was going to keep me straight because, you know, I, I wouldn't want to go in there and embarrass myself. You know, I wouldn't want to be talking this and talking that, and you're going to want to put your best performance out there. You know, at the end of the day, man, um, respect to both these fans. That's my view. 
You know, um, and it doesn't mean that I'm rooting for my uh, I'm rooting for boxer. Okay, I like both these gentlemen. They're both uh, stand up dudes. Boxer, I have history with. Mile high, don't. But I respect Mile high. Do I? Does that mean I'm not going to let my friendship, right, or, or you know, my associate or, or who I align with, you know, basically make me show favoritism or be impartial in the situation? You know what I mean? I got to be impartial and not biased just because I know Boxer. I got to keep it real, and I'm always going to keep it real, and that's just my personal perspective of it. I think my is going to take it. Hopefully, I'm proven wrong. But hey, if not, it is what it is. And with that sense, you're quite from a conference perspective, I'm out.